Right, so, start of this video, making these. This will become apparent later. I've just been for lunch with a couple of old buddies, if you like, at least use the term lightly. And they were all hurry, 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 and because they've got to go back to work and do lots of work. Well, sad kids. They think they've got work to do? I've got work to do. I've got working on the railroad. Have we sussed what this is yet? Stay tuned, like, subscribe, find out what these are. This is the answer to all model railways nightmares. Right, next. Power tools! Yeah, power tools. Aha, where did that go? I was going to say power tools, not for women or children. Clearly, not for me either. Aha. So, chemical metal stuff. I got this off that Timu for a pound or something. Two stuff, two tubes of stuff, never mind what it is, I don't know. Uh, squidge it together, squidge it out, mix it up, think about 50-50. Uh, yep, mix it up. Put it on the, where you want it, on the joints. Do 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 background music whatever. Um, cut them at forty five degrees. Well, roughly. And um, so join them. And join it. And leave. Leave it. Do not come back two hours later and test it. Leave it. Overnight, a day, whatever, leave it. Good, good, good overnightishness. And I won't bore you the next bit because it's boring. Drill a hole in the top of that with said drill on that. And they are just being cute hook things. Screw it in. Oh, probably going to cut the upward bit of that off. Anyway, next. Okay, here's the point. This is what I've been working on. There is a wee shunter. I shall now move with said control. 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 I'm not very good at this. Um, we'll do that again. Ah, I hate this bloody thing. Right. Okay. Keep going. I'm using this because I'm on the other side of the layout. And we'll move that back. Hopefully it goes. Right, okay. Stop. Come on, come on, come on. Oh God, go the other way. Look, it's away the other way, right? Where are you? Right, come back.
and stop. Okay, stop. Okay. Now, over here, well, this thing sort of messed up, temporarily fixed up to this carry-on. Observe. Uh, 90. 90, class 90, electric train, working pantograph, moves. Shunter doesn't. Okay, the bottom line is I've installed a homemade uh, catenary system. So far, it's just going along to over there and back down over there. Now, look up eBay, wherever you want, Pico, or look up catenary system. You'll find a Pico starter kit, catenary, 120 quid for 10 mass, no wires, I you get a wee jig set to space them apart. I have installed, installed sorry, uh, 10 masts along here and it's cost me about just over 10 quid. Aluminium rods, B&Q, cut them with a, my wee Dremel look-alike thing. Hooks drilled under, hooked in. Never mind that. 10 quid. And look, it works, right? Might not be perfected yet. There's this wee chat come along. Go back down to here. Uh, what are you doing? Go that way. Um, power up a wee bit. Come on. Actually, turn him round. Come on. Turn him round. Is that the way? Run away! Yay! Look, it works. It actually works. So, there we go. Um, what should I call this video? Me being incredibly smart, but oh, never mind. Over here, I am plugging, uh, replug something. I don't know. Hang on two seconds. Ah, sorry. Where's the thing? Sorry about that, folks. But, uh, got some wee lights over here as well. Oh, you can see that. We station and platform lights. Hope oh, we can make that out. So I've been busy. Anyway, right. Um, what are we going to call this? They're a bit rough on the edges, but, you know, the thing works. The thing works. And what occurs to me is that most of Britain's railway, I think, is electrified these days. And yet the modelling community does not reflect that. Uh, you get these fake things like this. You know, these, uh, I bought them ages ago and tried to use them to make an overhead catenary, but they're purely for modelling because there's no strength in them whatsoever. So there we go, folks. Um, adios.